Wow, look at that. I'm all clean shaved. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had to go to work today. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I have to back up a little bit. Oh, I'm in the wrong chair, too. That's why I'm like, why am I so high up? Oh, that's a switch chair. Cheese pup. Media chair. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect height. And that's a girlfriend chair. If you're going to run over Fuzzy Cheese Puss' tail. Hello, welcome again. My name is Hobo Tom. A much more cleaned up Hobo Tom because I had to go to work today. First time I worked in four days. Just got my schedule. And you wonder why I have four freaking jobs. But I'm here not to talk about my pathetic job status. Although I just realized that I just like to pop my t-shirt every so often. My Machine Gun Carl Anderson shirt just got cleaned off. I actually managed to pull that out of the dryer, I think. The drying pile. Yesterday, and again, I'm still kind of doing my work, so if I look distracted, I do apologize. Uh, again, I'm not here to talk about my work situation, because everyone would feel sorry for me. I'm probably just, like, mail me. Kick me a lot. Throw empty beer bottles with some costs. Won't get me anything. But Beer cans will, though. Good empty out my truck, too. I just realized that. On one beer can, so now I'm at 72 pieces of aluminum. Yeah, for Hobo Tom. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about some SmackDown wrestling. This is so weird. Mainly because, oh, I need this over here. I see the clock. I have to turn, I have to get off of work at, in about 10 more minutes. So this is probably going to be a fairly quick video. Again, it was pretty action packed. It was straightforward. Whereas Raw. At points was so entertaining. SmackDown was really straight. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. Promo to wrestle, wrestle. Promo, wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. That was actually the... Wow, I have a lot of editing to do. Because there's actually a lot of wrestling matches. I say that term loosely and you'll find out why as I go through. But um, it starts off really succinctly with probably like... I don't even think it was 10 minutes. A recap of what happened between Kevin Owens and Kofi Kingston, which is always good. I mean, a little history is always good. So it's to you know, again, what's going on with the wrestlers, especially if you haven't been watching that much. So that's the thing I like with Impact. I'm like, whoa, they have recaps. Now I understand stuff. It's always good to understand stuff. And with this, it was the first match of the night just led right to Kofi. Kingston versus Kevin Owens. Wow, Kevin Owens is so good. He's a really stiff worker. I'll tell you what, he's great at he's great at talking though. I will never and he must have given the iconics his advice is just talk, talk, talk. Because he does nothing but talk and talk trash. And he's so great at it though. Um, there was an air Kofi, I'm not gonna go through everything. Kevin Owens is really much more of the striker. He does a couple power wrestling moves every so often. Kofi Kingston. Again, oh, I haven't said this phrase in a long time. It's a clash of styles. Styles make matches, and clashes of styles make matches fun. Wow, I haven't had to say that in a while. That's a head scratcher there, folks. Um, but yeah, this was really fun. Again, you, have, you have Kofi Kingston, the much more flamboyant wrestler. Um, he likes to go off the top rope. Again, great rope running by Kofi. Uh, he has to air Kofi um, eventually. Kevin Owens does kick out of an SOS. So but again, it's Kevin Owens now. I mean, you want your stars to be able to kick out of at least one finisher. So that makes sense. Um, then he just like... Oh, Kofi kings from the top rope. Um, eventually, Kevin Owens did hit uh, Kofi did hit his trouble in paradise and pin Kevin Owens. And that's going to be leading up to the go home show or more Brock interaction next week. Cause then the following Friday, I think is the super showdown, which I actually plan to cover. So I'll actually be awake at that hour. I think. Should be. I'll have to write down my calendar once the month of May is over. Again, this was an amazingly fun match. And so much different from the product we got on Raw. I mean, I'm shocked. 
This is a surf and turf quality mat. That actually led us right into our second match. Uh, it was, well, not so much a match, but at least it sets up something. So you have Daniel Bryan and Rowan come out to ringside. They're talking smack. They say, oh, yeah, they make fun of, first of all, the tag team division's a joke. You know Daniel Bryan watched all the wrestling. You just saw how great the match was between the Lucha Brothers and the Young Bucks. So he's like, this, this division's a joke. And then he just starts to run down Oklahoma. Again, the heel that speaks truth. Eventually, heavy machinery may, may just make the challenge. They say, no, we'll challenge you. I like that. That's good. You don't need much. They say, I'll fight you. You have the belt. We want belt. Very simple premise, WWE. Um, then Mandy Rose passes out hers magazine where she's on the cover. I think I don't have... Who did I have? I've, I had Alexa Bliss and Eva Marie in my Memorial Day trip. Check that out. <sighs> um, then you had the next match was Carmella versus Mandy Rose. Um, a lot of trash talking. Again, I don't know how the women with the really long, flowy, flowy hair wrestle because that's just it. Just seems like it's going to get a get away all the time. It was a good match. I mean, Carmella's a good. A good wrestler, Mandy Rose is improving, but boo Sonya Deville, boo! I'll never cheer for her. She tried to, she got involved, distracted Carmella. Mandy Rose has to get a little more on point because Carmella literally like pulled Mandy Rose into a pinning position for Car against Carmella. Boo Sonya Deville. Yeah, start all with a roll up by Mandy Rose that Carmella kicked out of, and then of course because Carmella was distracted, she she had to pull Mandy Rose on top, of her, which doesn't make the most sense. And it's a boo Sonya Deville match, and it's a really obvious here. You have to get the win. Never good, but overall, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't the worst match. It was a ham sandwich. And then there's an Alistair Black promo, and wow, I might actually get this video done in my allotted time. Man, that would be amazing. Um, Alistair Black just sounds creepy. He sounds like The Undertaker kind of should have been if The Undertaker was really creepy. But I don't think The Undertaker ever really spoke that much. So I know this is kind of weird. Then there's a Shane promo. Our truth runs into the ring. I guess you have a match versus Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick eats one. Gord Buster, I think it is. Um, R-Truth actually pinned them. It was a match. And then Shane, Drew, and Elias beat up R-Truth. Oh, wait. The, so, so, um, so the match between R-Truth and Drake Maverick, it was a can of soup. Mainly because it was an actual match. Wow, the 24-7 in a ring. That's good. Um, Elias again, after our truth got beat up by Drew, Elias, and Shane, cover, does, a fade, does a crossroads or fadeaway? I'm confused from AEW. And pins our truth He's the new 24-7 champion. Um, then there's tea time with Charlotte. And her guest is Lacey Evans, whatever. Um, actually, it wasn't that bad. poo poo with that. And this, but again, this led to the next match of Bailey versus Lacey Evans. It was pretty good. Good rope running by by both. I mean, I'll definitely compliment the good. I mean, I couldn't run those ropes the way they would. I'd be I'd be winded after probably two or three runs. God knows, I'm not leapfrogging over anyone. Um. Lacey Evans just isn't it smooth, though. 
Uh, she's still a really choppy wrestler. She has to get some of the mechanics down to make it seem smoother, I guess. Weird for pro wrestling. Because there are times where having that fight feel to it where it's a little choppy, but it's a fight feel. This was just different, though. Um, she saw some work to do before she, she goes on. She, I mean, I mean, com in comparison, Bay looked like a world class wrestler. I don't think I've ever said that about Bale e either. Um, and then, let's see. quick easy score there. Nice to jump off in one minute. That's okay. Um, eventually, Bailey does pin. Oh, Bailey actually is outside the ring, goes to the drop kick, the sliding drop kick to Lacey Evans. Um, gets back in the ring, confronts Charlotte Flair, and clocks Charlotte. Charlotte's upset because she got punched. Goes in the ring, distracts Lacey Evans. Bailey wins via roll up. Again, the classic heel miscue. And I need to stop that soon. Uh, so I'm going to do one more. I hate that word. And we're going to go exit scoring. From freak. Oh, wow. I did freaking lousy today. No bonus for me. Well, I'm just kind of where I should. That's not too bad. So serious. 7.06 hours, so that's good though. I can live with that. No bonus for Hobo Tom. That's okay. That's right. I had off. Out of rhythm. We'll figure everything out later. So you're now logged off this. Yes, you guys get to see the insights. The hobo life. Off. Actually, close you too. There we go. No more distractions from me. Um, so, Bailey does win with a roll of victory. It was hard to screw up this match. I mean, even though Lacey Evans kind of tried a little bit, it's a good cheeseburger match. Oh, and I can only spend about 15 minutes editing because I also have to get to the gym too. And then, uh, you know, cut a promo. And at Super Showdown, it's going to be El Hilo Andrade Cien Almas versus Finn Balor. I wonder if it's going to be Demon Balor. And, oh, um, when is Stomping Grounds going to be? Is that going to be the July pay-per-view, I guess? I know they already have the one in June. And NXT is this Saturday. I really have to use that play earlier than I want. Shoot. No no rest for no rest for the hobo. Wow, ain't, ain't that the truth? So I guess Stomping Ground's gonna be in July, so they're starting to advertise that. And then your main event of the evening. You have Roman Reigns and R Truth takes on Drew McIntyre and Elias. And Roman Reigns makes it to the ring. Our truth is kind of hobbling along. He's not even singing because he's he just got beat up <laughs> and lost his belt, so he's not too happy. And then Drew and Elias just come out, jump him. Roman Reigns tries to, to go in there. Eventually, they go they go to the ring. Ding ding ding! Match starts. Roman Reigns just beats up Elias until Drew, Drew gets involved. I mean, it was a fun match. It was a and again, this was two matches in one. Oh, uh, and I guess I was confused about the ending for the one, but well, I'll, I'll get to that my confusion in a little bit. Um, a truth, it's in the ring. Uh, he just gets destroyed by Drew. I mean, he does. Our truth, his cred, does try to mount some offense. Not enough though, folks. I was scoring low too. Last time I was scoring high. Oh well, that's what they get for using me. And getting me out of rhythm. Tuesday, although that's still a tonnage of hours. That's good because that means I'm getting a good freaking paycheck at least. 
Um, oh, wait, let's fo focus on wrestling. Focus on the machine gunner himself, Carl Anderson. One of the best wrestlers ever. Or so everyone says. Actually, I saw him a little bit. He is really good. If you ever do have a chance, go check out whenever Carl Anderson's wrestling. Especially with Luke Gallows and the Bullet Club. They're just so good. Um, Roman eventually does get the hot tag. He just beats up everyone. He eventually does, he beats up Shane. And he pins Elias. So it's not like Drew looks weak. But because Roman Reigns pinned Elias, shouldn't Roman Reigns be the 24-7 champion? Or maybe because it was a tag match, maybe that gets tossed by the wayside? Um, eventually the match is over, so that match was fun, though. That was a good cheeseburger match. And then Roman Reigns decides to make things right. He, he pulls, he, he wakes up our truth and just pulls and beats up Elias a little bit more. I think hits another Superman punch on Elias, throws our truth on him. Our truth is back to being the 24 7 champion, which, hey, I guess, I, if we, hey, we're getting our fill of wrestling. Although, again, the match quality. Although, it did have that lead up. It's still a can of soup. And that was SmackDown. Probably three or four times the amount of wrestling we saw in... I'm going to do this really quick so I can just come home an hour go to sleep. But I mean, really... No, I forgot to stop you. Really, it's like four times the wrestling we saw in Raw with like a third of the promos, unless... I don't even think a third of the promos. I think not even a fifth of the promos. That's somewhat shabby. Oh, I forgot to do that. What the heck's wrong with me? Man, I need a pile of cash today. Um, so again, it was really fun, though. Times. That's that. It's 31, 36. Wow, 104. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, wow. I made more in three days than I'll make all, all week at my other job. Actually, my overtime should be freaking amazing. I don't even care if I get fired from that job. Freaking amazing. You know, old people take forever. No way that should take an hour to do what she was told to do. But it's all my fault. I'm the assistant manager. Um, that was SmackDown, though. Overall, I'll tell you what, it was a fun show. Um, some programming notes. Friday. I don't even know if I'm going to live stream it now. Should I live stream it? I'm working. But only on that, though. Hmm. I may or may not live stream Impact Wrestling. I have to make my mind up on that. What the heck's in here? Oh, whoa. Oh, I, I remember what all this stuff is. Empty everything. Yes. Yeah, because then tomorrow I have to clean up my hard drive because I have filling it up with so many videos. Again, this has just been like hyper wrestling month for some reason. So Friday's going to be my Impact Wrestling. Maybe a live stream. I have to figure that out a little bit. Um, Saturday, I'm also going to do a live stream. And that's going to be for the NX TakeOver 25. And then the following week, it is... I don't think I'm going to do... 
Oh no, I'm working Sunday, so I can't do that. Defiance is actually kind of fun. Um, slicks across the pond. Bum slicks across the pond. Um, it's always fun to chat with him. I think he was interested about my video editing software. So it's always fun to, to talk tech like that, even if it's not about wrestling. But Monday will be back to Monday Night Raw, Tuesday SmackDown, Friday I have off too, so it's going to be Friday Impact. Oh, wait, even when I did work, I always do Friday Impact shows. Ooh. And then, oh, Friday's going to be a double wrestling day. Because also, oh, that's a lot of wrestling. It's going to be the Super Sh Super Showdown and Impact. So it's one show in the morning-ish, one show at night. Saturday, there's nothing. Saturday, I have to... No, that's a Saturday. I have to go do that. Maybe next Saturday, I go fishing. I have friends with two boats, and I gave a friend a really bad idea. Mainly because I have a truck that can pull about 11,000 pounds. He has nothing that can pull his boat. Hey, I'll, I'll play your boat for you. I'll play your boat for you. Just take me fishing. I even have plenty of bait too, and all the fishing gear. <laughs> it's like, wow, this is this is like what Robert feels like. That's enough about that. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and have a good night, folks. Bye.